Hey, pottery people. Today, we're gonna look at an artwork by, mm, so pretty, Fong Chu. So, let me tell you a little bit about Fong Chu. He is a very accomplished ceramic artist who has dedicated himself only to making teapots. And as an aside, you guys, I know you might be looking at that like, that. how do you make tea in that? We're gonna get to that. But he's been making only teapots since about the 90s. He is kind of famous for doing this thing with his glazes called over melting, where he fires them to a temperature a little bit higher than they're meant to go to. This isn't a great example of that, but in his pieces where he has more than one color, they bleed into each other in like this really cool way. If you wanna look at any of his other artworks, I would totally recommend it. His work is great. Um, it's at fongchu.com. It's F-O-N-G-C-H-O-O.com. I'd highly recommend it. His work is really cool. The other thing about that over melting technique though that I think is like so punk rock is that he loses like almost 50% of his works to the kiln. And what, what that means is just that the glazes get, when glaze gets heated and hot, it becomes liquid. And so when they go a little higher than they're supposed to, sometimes they just run completely off the pot and ruin it. So he's kind of a badass like that. He's just like, well, that's part of my process. And he goes with it. And the works that are salvageable are amazing. So let's circle back to this being a teapot. I know that sometimes with ceramics or art in general, some pieces can make us feel like there's a joke that we're not getting or that um, the artwork just doesn't make any sense. And with this piece, like I totally understand it. It's a little strange. It's too small to really make tea. It has this little, little itty bitty opening and it kind of has this collapsed piece in the back. But the thing, so no, it's not a functional teapot. But what Fong Chu's goal is, is to get you to see the teapot just as a sculpture. That's all it is. So when you see potters do this, and, and it's pretty common, when you work with these familiar functional forms for years and years, sometimes you want to evolve your work a little bit past that. And one way to do that is to use those forms as inspiration, but move into a sculptural space with them. So if you see something like this, a piece of pottery in particular that looks like something that's supposed to be functional, but is not, don't worry. There's nothing you're not getting. It's just that this is a sculpture now. Okay. And before we wrap up, I just wanted to point out some of my favorite features about this. Originally, I was attracted to it because of the glaze and the color is just kind of a rarity. You don't often see glazes this bright and vibrant. I also really like this little lid. I just think it's kind of like a fun moving part. And the fact that you can't put anything in this opening is just kind of flippant and fun. I don't know. I just think it's um, interesting. I always like a moving part. I don't know why. Also, his little additions here are just really cute. They're whimsical and they're fun and um, very thoughtfully crafted. Same with the feet. These little spirals too are just, again, really thoughtfully made and, and really cute. Give it a little lift and a little shadow underneath. And then the collapsed part. Okay, y'all. So it seems kind of weird, right? Seems kind of funky. Again, it's one of those features that could make you think, why why is this but really if you if you kind of look at its profile it kind of makes it like it's going like <laughs> like it gives it a little flair or a little like sass so that's what i've always thought was really cute about that part is the way it kind of pulls the pot back and angles it a little bit so that it's sort of like hmm, feeling itself all right so those are my favorite details about the fong chu teapot i hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope you know that your interpretation of an artwork is just as valid as anybody else's, even if you're new to, to ceramics or art in general, okay? So don't ever feel intimidated by these artworks that can seem a little bit strange at times. Thank you guys for watching so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye, pottery people.